rest of the armadillo out. Try not to uh, set the fire alarm off. Get it, Ellie, get it! Alright. <laughs> There's that. Well, hey guys, I want to show you guys how to clean an armadillo. Now, this will be my first time cleaning an armadillo, so I'm going to learn as I go. But essentially, the bone structure should be the same thighs, uh, legs, backbone, and front arms. They have a pretty good sized gut cavity. We're going to obviously take the shell off, so we're going to go get right into this and let's clean an armadillo, and then we're going to take it home and we're going to cook it up. So, if I'm going to clean this thing, I'm going to do it like I'm going to do a pig, and I'm going to we're going to learn together here. The skin on an armadillo so far is pretty soft. The amount of fat that I'm seeing on this sucker is fairly fatty. There we go. But their skin is hard. Not even the shell portion. There we go. Now I have heard that eating an armadillo, there are some cautions to armadillos. One, their blood. It does have the possibilities of carrying, um, uh, what is it called, leprosy, if consumed. So uh, if you know if you're eating it raw, but it's just like anything like chicken, which you can get salmonella from. So we're gonna make sure that we that we um, cook this thing properly. We're gonna slow cook it and we're actually gonna make pulled armadillo. So, when in Oklahoma, let's just cook some armadillo from Oklahoma. All right, so, work on skinning this thing down. I'm gonna get it all skinned up and then we'll talk about the different portions of, different parts of the body here and how meaty they are. Now, if any of you guys have ever eaten an armadillo, I'd love to know about it, how you cooked it, and best way to cook it. Because I, like I said, I'm gonna slow cook this sucker. When I was a kid, these things would be running around in the backyard. And my grandparents, we were always told, don't touch them, you're going to get leprosy. Well, if that's true, I might get leprosy. But I don't think it's true. I've read a lot of forums about people in Texas that eat them, say they're delicious. So I want to eat one. And you're wondering why we shoot them. There are so many of them in, in Oklahoma. They are, they're the rat of the woods. Because they are everywhere. And this one we blew it up pretty good, so. They are fatty. Getting it out of the shell is gonna be the tricky part, I think.
treating this shell just like it was skin. I'm just going to remove it because I'm pretty sure that that's really all it is for them is just skin. a little bone that sticks down out of there. I was able to get it. There we go. That'll work. Shot of that. Okay, so essentially, that's what it looks like inside. This is where the, the bullet hole we were shooting a 223. And uh, so essentially, it's just attached with hard fat to their back, just like a deer hide. So nothing really special about it. But their armor is hard. So I am going to avoid to the best of my ability that gut sack and I know just like chicken that I can remove the thighs and the legs without getting into the gut sack by coming down along the backbone down to the tailbone Cut up right behind the leg there. And we're going to remove it just like a chicken leg and a thigh. So now we got one leg and thigh. It really does look a lot like uh, a chicken. And now the bone structure here, cut down behind the in the hand. to there. All right, we remove the, the foot and that's what we've got. So we've got the, the leg and we've got the thigh just like a giant piece of chicken. So that looks really good. We'll set that right there. We'll do the same thing on this side. Go down against the backbone here, remove it, and flip it over right behind what would be the, the back strap of a deer, really, where the back strap would end. Pop the joint out right there, and then just like a chicken breast or a chicken thigh, I mean, detach it. We used to use loppers to clean our our iguana legs down in Miami, and a lot of people use them to take out, take off deer legs and whatever. We call loppers. They're basically just a pair of trimmers, two-handed trimmers for like cutting branches. Okay, here we go. Got the leg and the thigh off right there. That's the second portion. Let's see what else we can get from this guy. We're gonna see if he's got a back strap of some sort here. Well, legs will be removed. Not much in the means of a back strap meat, but however, I think we can 
remove that leg, that front leg. Let's see here. There we go. So that was just like a deer shoulder actually. It's got the scapula right in here and the two bones. So just, just like any other animal. that now so we got a pretty good chunk of fat right here the legs we'll set those to the side we'll remove the other side now I'm going right against that rib cage too I'm taking some of that rib meat out as well right down along the shoulder just like a deer front arm right there that's that now this this portion is really just the gut cavity and I don't really see any reason of cutting into that so we were able to oh there's a big chunk of meat I about missed right there I don't know how I got how I didn't get that that was part of that thigh okay so we removed both back legs the upper back straps the thigh and the leg we remove the front shoulders to the rib cage. There's really nothing left except this bottom skin and all the guts. And since we don't want to mess with that, no reason to gut in that sucker. Toss them in the gut pile and we're going to get in the kitchen and we're going to cook some armadillo. We're going to slow cook it for you. All right, I'm going to get out of this bloody mess and we'll get in the kitchen. I'll see you guys in the kitchen. Look at that, armadillo. If you've never seen armadillo before, it's super fatty. I mean, it's gorgeous. It has no crazy smell. I'm going to start with some seasoning salt. And I've got some of this wild fork uh, lavender rosemary, which sounds really good. And my salt and my pepper as well. So I'm going to turn this induction cooktop on. I think. Is it plugged in? Plugged there it goes. And I'm going to do, um, we're going to do stir fry. There we go. That's going to get hot real quick. Now, I'm going to keep from doing a whole lot of oil in this because this armadillo is very fatty. And I know as we render it, the fat is just going to fly off of it. And it's going to be like cooking bacon. That's how much fat is on this thing. This one got the, no it doesn't. So we're going to start one piece here and we're going to see how it cooks down. Has anyone ever eaten armadillo? If you guys are watching the video, comment, please. All right, I'm going to cook that. That looks like a, um, I think that was a front leg piece. Sandy says it tastes like chicken. <laughs> well, we're fixing to find out, Sandy, and you guys are going to be right here with us. I've got some front legs pieces too. So... Well, if it tastes like chicken, this, this uh, rosemary lavender is going to be perfect for it. Hit that with a little salt, a little Lowry's, and a little black pepper. I'm cooking the fat side down first. I'm going to lower the temperature just a tad bit. I don't want to burn it. I'm just excited because it's so fatty that I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to render it slowly because if you turn the heat up too high on anything that has a lot of fat, you'll burn the fat. But if you heat it slowly, you can actually get that, <coughs> that fat rendered off. <coughs> Woo! 
Mm. I'm not choking on this. <coughs> you might want to turn the fan on. I swallowed some, uh, it may get a little loud in here. All right, we're gonna fix this one. Now I'm gonna season the rest of this for the rest of the family because this is, this is our dinner tonight. Linda's got some potatoes in the oven and she said, honey, we gotta eat that armadillo so it butter tastes good. So I'm all about it. I'm gonna turn these over now. I could see, Darren, I could see how this could be a really good curry. All right, guys, so we're cooking the uh, armadillo here. We've got a nice little browned off section on the bottom on the fat layer. We just flipped it over and we're gonna slowly cook it. Got the oven ready. I'm gonna be popping it in the oven to finish it off here in just a minute. Ooh. Ellie, come here, smell this. Smell that. Okay. Smell good? Huh? Yeah, let me check them. Oh yeah, they're done. They're overdone. Is that a hot pad thing? No. Alright. <laughs> guys look how beautiful it, it's caramelizing it looks so good that big meaty back legs on this one it's a giant armadillo he's got like a thick layer of fat i'm trying to caramelize that fat really nicely i'm gonna stick them on the pan and start cooking in the oven okay speaking of which i am gonna go ahead and Pull these off and get these in the oven and start this little piece and we'll start the next batch. Okay, guys, that's what they look like prior to going in the oven. And hot. Look at the, la I mean, just the layer of fat that's on that, guys. The layer of fat is so awesome. I love fat. And if this is anything like pork fat, It'll be cool. If it's like deer fat, not gonna be good. I don't know what it is about deer fat, but deer fat, I wish it was juicy, but it gets hard and it sticks to the roof of your mouth. You know, I like that fat that turns to liquid. Induction top cooktop does good, guys. All right, we're gonna pull all the rest of the armadillo out. Try not to uh, set the fire alarm off. Get it, Ellie, get it. All right, there's that. And this thing, we've already turned it off, so it's it doesn't stay hot. It literally starts cooling off immediately. So now we've just got to wait on the armadillo to finish off in the oven. We want the temperature to reach 165 degrees, just like you would for poultry or for chicken. Uh, that's going to kill all the bacteria. Right? Yeah. Right, kiddo? You don't want fat bacteria. We don't want bacteria. What did you say? Fat bacteria? <laughs> Suck it in. Suck it in. <laughs> what you you keep talking about the fat. And we don't want the fat to have bacteria. No. What are you saying about fat? I'm not fat. No, I'm not talking about I'm you. I'm big boned. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the armadillo. And me. And me. Alright, guys. We just pulled her out of the oven. She's still popping. Let's look at this stuff. Alright, where was the one? This was the big one, right? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. I got the temperature change. I got it right here. Shing. Shing. Don't open it all. <laughs> all right, let's check it now. On the video, everyone loves it. They love me. Oh, it's going up. It's going up. Yep, it's gonna get there. One sixty. Okay, this piece. 
I believe this piece is going to be done. I'm going to stick the rest of this in the oven, back in the oven. We're going to let it cook a little longer, Ellie. I bet you that little can piece I, is can done. Can I stab this in? It's so suffered. Always check the temperature as close to the bone as you can, okay, Ellie? Mm -hmm. Look, look at the temperature. Wow. Okay, that's, guys. That's hot. There's the temperature. Oh. Right there, 165. Cut. What are you doing? I ate the burnt part. Okay, so I know that it I'm is fully I'm cooked. Trying, trying. All right, Ellie, we're just going to have to dive into it. Hey, me first. No, me first because I'll die first. Uh, if, uh. if it's poisoned. <laughs> Excuse. It's not poison because I already licked the Okay. My turn, my turn, my turn. Oh, yeah, I'm lady like, so I don't have to bite into it. It's, it's a little bit. Tough? Tough because we're cooking it oh, so fast. Oh, Alright, kiddo. Oh, it's so hot. Oh, it's so hot. I would probably say the best way to cook this would be to braise it. 100% or curry like Darren said something where you're having a liquid cooked into it as well all right so the meat's fully cooked not bad um I think it resembles a lot like like rabbit honestly um, it tastes way better. No offense. But it's give me, good. Give me, give me, give me. All right, you eat it, Ellie. Maddie, you want to try a bite? <laughs> it tastes so good. It tastes super good. Yeah? Yeah, it's super yummy. Got the last of the armadillo here. Woo, sit on that pan because it's hot. It's a guy who's on here. Ellie, get it! Living in an RV, this is the craziness about our RV living. Is that you pull something out like this, out of cooking something like this? Uh. <laughs> Dirty hands. <laughs> <laughs> but, we just got finished all of our armadillo. I'm going to pull it off, let it cool off a little bit. And we're all going to eat it. Look at that. Delicious armadillo. Delicious. Thank you for watching this video tonight. Catch Clean Cook. If you haven't already, make sure to go down there and hit the like and subscribe button. Share us with your friends. And give us a huge thumbs up. If you share, then we'll be happy. Alright, God bless. We love you guys, and God loves you. Peace. Oh my God, it's hot. Is it good? Really good. Fat on the armadillo. Yeah. Fat to like pork fat. Mmm, so good. This is my new favorite instead of iguana legs. No, iguana legs are my second favorite.